Namaste. Today I want to talk about an entity that lives in the deep reinforcement learning domain and has a lot of colors. The rainbow agent. Why is it so interesting, you may ask? It is the state of the art in that field. Let us begin with terms and definitions so that we all know what we are talking about. What is reinforcement learning? It is learning to solve a task without direct supervision, so no datasets. It is about agents that learn to optimize their behaviors using a reward signal, which is a number. What is an agent? The entity that will show intelligence. It usually has means for sensing, reasoning and acting. What is an environment? Agents are situated in environments. Environments are rather passive and are usually everything that can be sensed and acted upon. It includes, but is not limited to, computer games and simulators. What is a state? It is the part of the environment that the agent can observe. Usually environments are not fully observable. Only a portion of the environment itself is visible to the agent. For example, the pixels on the screen of a computer game. What is an action? Something that the agent can do in an environment. It changes the environment. In games, an action could be an input from a joystick, a mouse click or a key press. What is a reward? Simply a number that measures the performance of our agent. If the agent does a good job, the reward will be a relatively high number. If the agent does a bad job, such as losing the game, it will be negative. What is a Q function? A function that assigns a value either to a state or to a state action pair. If your environment is simple, a plain table can be enough to store those values. With complex environments, it makes sense to use deep neural networks as Q function approximators. What is a policy? An algorithm that uses the Q function to select the best action in a state. The best action is the one that maximizes the expected future reward. What is a deep neural network? It is an artificial neural network with multiple hidden layers. What is deep reinforcement learning? In deep reinforcement learning, we use deep neural networks to approximate our Q function. This makes heavy use of their feature extraction capabilities. Next, let us talk about a very famous agent that has been very successful in deep reinforcement learning. It is called DQN and is usually the best starting point for learning about the field. It uses deep neural networks with epsilon greedy strategy replay memory and a target network. What is Epsilon Greedy? During training, it slowly moves from exploration to exploitation. Exploration is performing random actions and collecting their rewards. Exploitation is performing predicted actions and collecting their rewards. What is replay memory? Remembering experiences from the past. This breaks temporal correlations, biases towards the succession of states. It mixes more and less recent experiences for updating the network. What is a target network? In DQN, the online network is optimized via gradient descent. The online network is periodically copied to the target network, and the target network is used for the future rewards computations. This stabilizes training. Today, DQN is a couple of years old and has been extended heavily. The rainbow agent is the current state of the art. It has multiple components. Double queue learning, prioritized replay, dueling networks, multi-step learning, distributional reinforcement learning and noisy nets. What is double queue learning? A countermeasure to an overestimation bias. Under some circumstances, Q-learning overestimates action values. This leads to suboptimal policies. Double Q-learning decouples action selection, 
from target queue value generation. It is a slight change to DQN's target networks with a huge effect. What is prioritized replay? It is a change to selecting samples from replay memory. It selects those samples with a higher probability from which there is much to learn, basically those with the highest error. It effectively adds different degrees of significance to past experiences by deciding which experiences to replay how often. What are dual link networks? Basically, one deep neural network with two streams. The first stream estimates the value of a state. The second stream estimates advantages for all actions. Both streams are combined to produce a state action value and both share a single convolutional feature extraction module. What is multi-step learning? Looking only n steps into the future for updating the queue function. This leads to faster learning. What is distributional reinforcement learning? It is learning to approximate the distribution of returns instead of the expected average return. This is basically a generalization of the underlying mathematics. What are noisy nets? Deep neural networks with an additional noisy linear layer. This replaces the epsilon greedy strategy for exploration and exploitation. The noisy stream constantly adds random noise to the network. Over time, the network can learn to ignore the noisy stream. The amount of noise added to the network is tuned by the training algorithm. This makes exploration way more efficient. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to support my mission, you can do this in many ways. Become a patron, read my blog, add me on LinkedIn, connect on Facebook. You will find all the links in the description. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.